Hello everyone, my name is JJ Amaworo Wilson. I'm the writer in residence at Western New Mexico University in Silver City. And I'm also a proud board member of New Mexico Writers. Uh, I have the honor and privilege to serve on the grants committee. And I call it an honor and privilege because obviously we are in the business of trying to help to make writers' dreams come true. Every year, we fund a diverse array of projects and writers. Uh, we have funded trips to far-flung places so that these writers can do their research. We've paid for editors that these writers need. We've even funded childcare for a couple of months so that these writers can focus on the project they're working on without having to worry about changing diapers every couple of hours. I'm sure you are excited to hear from our grant award winners and so without further ado, here are the grant award winners from New Mexico Writers Cohort of 2023. I'm Sage Vogel. I'm an interdisciplinary writer with a passion for fiction. I'm based in Dixon, New Mexico. Early last year, I began pursuing my fiction and freelance writing full time. So the New Mexico Writers Grant was a blessing that could not have manifested at a more opportune hour. I used my grant to buy myself some time, essentially, and I used that time to polish a manuscript for a short story anthology titled Dichos and Nichos. I queried that anthology with UNM Press and they accepted it. So Dichos and Nichos is slated to be published in early 2025. Um, at a time when I was all in on my writing career, it meant everything in the world that someone else was betting on me too. So. Thank you, New Mexico writers. Thank you, you and Impress. And uh, thank you to the donors as well. Couldn't have done it without you. Hello, my name is Santana Shorty. I am based out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, originally from Abiquiu in Northern New Mexico. And I am a fiction writer, also a poet. And I've been incredibly lucky to have a very exciting, productive, powerful last year in which I got wonderful support from New Mexico writers. In that time, I actually finished the first draft of my manuscript, um, 270 pages, 71,000 words, and I finished just here in March, so almost full circle timing. And um, I'm so grateful to the community and everyone who's been able to support me in this process. Hi, my name is Jamie Chevalier. I'm a writer from Santa Fe, New Mexico, focusing primarily on nonfiction. I also direct and produce documentary films. And thanks to the funding from New Mexico Writers, I was able to generate professional transcripts to complete scripts on two different films one of which will screen in Genoa, Italy at the Museum of World Cultures. So we're extremely grateful to New Mexico writers for allowing us to share Gomio's poignant story about the missing and murdered indigenous peoples crisis. Hi, I'm Jesse Colvin. I'm last year's uh, uh, grant recipient in fiction. I work in Southwest fiction involving kind of the cowboys and the hippies era of the 60s and 70s. I also write some short paranormal stories, and I'm working on a longer uh, regionally based uh, novel. And with the grant, I engaged a professional editor for a book I'm self-publishing in the spring, early summer 2024 called Somewhere South of Santa Fe uh, through Amazon. I also hired a recording engineer and created an audio book to go with it this was great practice for reading aloud and helped with the final edit of my work. But mostly, those are all great things that helped me advance my writing. But really, the grant encouraged me to value my work and to develop further as a writer. So thank you for that. Come up, them. My name is Deborah Jackson Taffa, and I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I write personal essays and memoir, and my recent debut, Whiskey Tender, is a coming-of-age story about growing up in the Four Corners. With the generous support of the New Mexico Writers' Grant, I was able to travel to Detroit, Michigan, where I visited several establishments for an essay I'm crafting on American innovation and the history of bison bones and bison dollars. 
I went to the Carbon Works Factory, the Detroit Institute of Arts, the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation, the Rouge River, and the Woodmere Cemetery to conduct research for my work. From a small idea, my essay has become quite a Whitman-esque look at the environmental and societal cost of production. You might call it the human aftermath of a city in decline with a surprising twist at the end. Hey, I'm Sean Patrick Boyd, and I'm the author of, among other things, Winona Forever, which is a graphic novel for middle grade. And uh, I'm so thankful for the New Mexico Writers Grant. Um, thanks to the grant, I was able to take days off of my day job as a advertising copywriter uh, to complete the sequel to this book. So I had already completed this at the time uh, and was able to complete the sequel, which um, will come out this fall. Uh, so I'm super thankful for that and for all of you. Hi, I'm Susan Melinda Mori. I'm a poet and I live in Hillsboro, New Mexico. And I'm so grateful to New Mexico writers for this grant. It was a really special research project for me. I um, used the grant to work on a book length series of poems about Asha, a Mexican gray wolf who went beyond the boundaries um, that the US Fish and Wildlife Service set for the recovery program of Mexican gray wolves. Um, I started the journey following her path um, in the Apache Sitgreaves National Forest in Arizona. Um, she wandered around past Pie Town, um, down uh, towards Southern New Mexico, um, going through Apache Kid Wilderness, um, uh, into um, White Sands Missile Range, a little bit um, into the uh, Bosque del Pache, Sevilleta uh, National Wildlife Refuge, up into the Manzano Mountains, and, um, and then uh, back and forth over I-40, crossed it a couple of times, and then went up into the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And I got a chance to follow that path and really expand my poetry and work on these poems. And it's been a real joy. Yat eh, hello. I'm Tina Discini from Crystal, which is in the Diné Nation in Northwest New Mexico. Um, the, and I'm a poet. New Mexico writers supported me to upgrade my computer uh, so that I didn't have to um, convert documents to Word, and which can be problematic when you're writing in Diné. Um, I also was able to uh, listen to presentations on publishing and therefore uh, put on the back burner a children's book I had been working on and instead focusing on a manuscript of um, poetry, and I'm so happy to say that I'm in the last stages of finalizing that. So happy times for me. Yeah, thank you. I live in Socorro. I write for children as Chris Ebach and for adults as Chris Bach. Um, I have two dozen novels for adults published and over 100 children's books, which means I almost make the median income for New Mexico. Uh, which is not very much. So the big challenge at this stage of my career is to let more readers know about my books. I used the grant money to pay for a BookBub feature deal and give and gave away thousands of copies of my humorous mystery novel to drive more traffic to the series. So the marketing may not be as fun as the writing, but it is a very important part of the job, and the New Mexico Writers Grant helped me with it. Thank you. Uh, my name is Victoriano Cardenas. I'm a poet and writer from Taos, uh, and I currently live in Albuquerque. Uh, last spring, Bloomsday Literary published my debut book of poetry, Portraits as Animal. That's this one right here. Uh, I also received a Preston travel grant from New Mexico Writers, which helped me to travel for my book tour. Um, I attended and read at the Association of Writers and Writing Programs, uh, or the AWP conference in Seattle, and at IACON, an indigenous arts and comic expo in Denver, Colorado. I also had readings in Taos, Santa Fe, Houston, and Boulder, and the grant I received helped me to spread the word about my book all over the country, including my hometown of Taos. Uh, thanks, New Mexico writers. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Harden Barola. I am a freelance journalist from Galt, New Mexico. And I am a recipient of the Douglas Preston Travel Grant, which I greatly appreciate. Um, it has helped fund the travel component of an independent journalism project I'm currently working on, which involves travel across Arizona and New Mexico to um, document historic 
churches, missions, and schools within the historic boundaries of the Diocese of Gallup, which has taken me all the way to the border of California, almost up to Utah, up to Cal um, Colorado, almost down to Silver City, and almost down to Phoenix. It's a very large area. And so that's what I've been doing for the last year, and I greatly appreciate the grant. Thanks a lot. Hi, my name is Jason Asnap. I'm a Comanche and Muskogee uh, writer, critic, uh, screenwriter, and essayist, and a journalist. Um, I live here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, I received a grant to do re research on Comanche history, and I was working on a Western, actually, and that idea kind of like migrated into this other idea when I was talking with my father, and he's a Comanche artist. <clears throat> and so I ended up uh, writing this really fun article <clears throat> called uh, Portrait of the Artists. And it's basically about uh, growing up the son of a, of a Comanche artist and his history uh, in that movement of 60s and 70s Southern Plains artists. And so when we did a webinar for Alta Journal magazine. So I just want to thank New Mexico writers for the um the for su helping support my work. Hi everyone. I'm Cynthia Grady and I write fiction, nonfiction, and poetry uh, for all ages, mostly for middle grade children. Um I with my grant money that I received last year, I was able to attend a four-day writing retreat at Norbertine Abbey in South uh, Southwest Albuquerque. And I um, worked on a middle grade novel titled Mockingbird Moon. It's an animal fantasy. It takes place in the Bosque. And the main character is a mockingbird who a cynical, a cynical angry bird with a gift for languages. And um, I finished a draft, I began revising, and I plan to query it at the end of this year or later on in the fall this year. I'm very grateful for the funds I received and everyone who works on the grant program. And I wanna wish this year's grantees a creative, productive year. A fantastic group of award winners. I just wanna thank you ever so much once again for supporting New Mexico writers. Long may your support continue and just wish you a wonderful evening.